Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the weeks-long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And, if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Oh, at last. I'm quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. Hey, Sherry, come on, catch up. Yes, yes. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Welcome to Il Palazzo di Lusso, sir. We just need your signature.
Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Thank you. 